हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी सी नंबर्स एवरीवेयर लाइक क्रिकेट स्कोर ऑफ 120 रन्स गेटिंग हाफ के जी शुगर और गेटिंग टेस्ट मार्क्स ऑफ 23 एंड हाफ राइट हाउ कैन वी रिप्रेजेंट दीज नंबर्स ऑन अ नंबर लाइन यू कैन सी अ नंबर लाइन हियर विद जीरो एट द सेंटर एंड देन पॉजिटिव नंबर्स इंक्रीजिंग ऑन द राइट साइड लाइक वन टू थ्री फोर एंड सो ऑन and negative numbers going from minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on from the left side of the zero let us understand this in detail the numbers which we use for counting objects like one candy two candies three candies and so on this collection of numbers 1 2 3 4 and so on is called natural numbers that we use typically in our day to day counting this collection of natural numbers is denoted by n now if we add zero to the natural number collection we get whole numbers so the collection of whole number includes 0 1 2 3 4 and so on and it is denoted by w now coming to negative numbers we have negative temperatures sometimes negative marks so the collection of negative numbers and whole numbers is called integers so all the negative numbers zero and all the positive numbers this is called integers and it is denoted by z now if we look in number line there is a gap between 1 and 2 let's zoom in further means there can be decimal numbers in between like 1.1 1.2 and so on right if we zoom in further that we can see a gap between 1.1 and 1.2 there can be decimal numbers like 1.11 1.12 and so on between 1.1 and 1.2 if we zoom further we will find numbers between 1.11 and 1.12 also like 1.111 1.112 and so on and we can go on like this forever and we will keep on finding numbers between every two consecutive decimal numbers like 1.11111 comma 1.111112 and so on we know decimal numbers or fractions are different representations of numbers like 0.5 is same as 1 by 2 or 9.5 is same as 19 by 2 so if we take integers and the decimal numbers or fractions between them then this collection is called rational number and it is denoted by q how do we know whether a number is a rational number or not a number r is called a rational number if it can be written in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 for example 1 by 2 is a rational number Where p is equal to one and q is equal to two, q should not be zero. Minus nine is also a rational number. We'll say where is q? Because minus nine can be written as minus nine by one. That is, p is minus nine and q is one. Eight is also a rational number because eight can be written as eight by one, where p is equal to eight and q is equal to one. So all integers are rational numbers. and the numbers between the two consecutive integers can be represented as p by q where q is not equal to 0 and this set is rational numbers like 1 by 4 1 by 2 3 by 4 are the numbers between 0 and 1 that's all in this video bye bye